conclusion is, you come to? Or you know, you know what we need to do? This is what I just realized. We do not need to push this whole virgin thing. The right. virgin thing is not working because virginity is kind of it's, it's milky because okay. you can start getting technical. There's technical virgins and yeah. real virgins and this kind of virgin, that kind of virgin. <laughs> what we really need to be pushing is, is purity, period. Because right. I know for me, and I said this in a piece I did um, when I first started doing Spoken Word, is that everybody told me, don't have sex. Don't right. have sex. Do not have sex. I was like, got it. Not having sex. But ain't nobody told me all the <laughs> wonderful things that happens before that. Exactly. And and that's where I got lost. That's where I got lost. Nobody so, ever told me. Because nobody talks about yeah. that. Because they push virginity but yeah. not purity. Yeah. So I can definitely say I've not been pure yeah, my whole like, life. No, I haven't been pure my whole life. But that's either. the standard. And it so virginity like, is not the standard. Purity seems, is the standard. Seems like they skip over um First Corinthians where it tells you to flee uh temptation. From your youth. Yeah, but they don't talk about what the temptations are. Exactly. Like when I was when I was starting to, to fall in this area, I didn't even know about some I of this stuff. I was I like, didn't. oh, this is amazing. I had to have a pastor tell me and I was like, Really? <laughs> Serious? He's like, Yeah, man, you, you 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 can't and I'm like, Oh. Yeah, because I didn't know. Because I actually when I heard about it, I said, Well, that's not right. And he and he says, Well, he said, I said, That's God being unfair. <laughs> that means that what? You're supposed to just hold your hand? But this is the thing though, because I think it's most effective from a, a father to a son. And this is going to get real personal. Ready? All right. Everything my dad told me not to do, I did not do. Including. I can top that. Go ahead. Though. Including. Um, my dad sat me down. He said, uh, son, this is something I dealt with. I don't want you to ever deal with it. But masturbation is wrong. Do okay. not do it. Okay. Well, Never dealt with that. Never had to deal with masturbation. Well, but because he told me. Mm-hmm. But everything he did not tell me, I had no clue what to do with it. Yeah. So this is showing how powerful it is when a father or somebody in leadership t- sits you down and tells you exactly what God wants from you and what he doesn't. Everything that they left up to me to figure out, I had trouble with. Okay. And you know what? I can top that. Because when I was 13 years old, my dad bought me my first magazine. And when I was around 14 years old, he told me that having sex was the only way to clear up acne. (laughs) And my dad is a pastor now, but he told me that. And when I was like 15 years old, he was like, are you, he says, you think your mind can take dirty jokes? And I'm like, okay. He starts telling me dirty jokes about, you know, three guys go hiking in the woods. And I'm like, what? (laughs) It's crazy. Yo, your dad sound like the dad on American Pop. Yeah, yeah. He says, son, son, now listen. Now, Nadia's coming over. And uh, when she gets here, son, you want to put on your best game, you know. Anyway, but you know what I'm saying? Like, my dad, my dad encouraged me. Wow. And when my dad found out I was waiting, he was like, really? Hmm. Really? You want to wait? You sure? I was like, yeah, I'm sure. He was like, oh, okay. He's like, well, long as well, if you ever have any struggles with it, just know a man's got to do what a man's got to do sometimes. I'm like, wow. You know, the last heart-to-heart conversation I had with my dad was yesterday. I was sitting there watching a movie with him, and he was like, so, I always wear a shirt and tie when you go to work. I always wear pinstripes and sit up in your chair. I'm like, that is seven years too late. <laughs> so, my dad is like that. We have our conversations in the distance. And before he was a pastor, you know, he used to tell me all about this adult playground he went to. And I was like, what's the adult playground? And so one day I'm sitting around and I'm in the car and I'm not really paying attention. But he's he's with his, one of his good friends. And he's like, um, he's like, hey, Jr. Oh, my dad's name. <laughs> hey, you've been to the Magic City lately? And my dad is like, no, I ain't been to the adult playground since. Blah, blah, blah. I was like, the that's adult the adult playground. playground. No, man, what, what I'm saying is, though, is that what what Sorry, I mom. think what I think we need to do is re re. Um, redescribe what it is to be a virgin and to be pure because like I said I was very obedient when it came to you know not having sex and doing all those kind of things but everything they did not explain to me everything they're too embarrassed to talk about are stuff I needed to hit when I was and, 14 and years we old just, we just need to what do we need to do do we need to um, uh, talk to kids about specific things like that do we need I do. to be I real to all my clear about, about it and, okay. and they get mad when I tell them addressed it to me when I was 15 because if you had told me at 15 I'd be really mad and sour right about now at least I got something to go off of in the back of my mind I mean to me at an early, earlier age like 12 like that's that's when my dad started talking to me it's just like I feel like if I got all the information everything that could come at me all the different possibilities 
I would I would have been a little better off. And I just think that we leave those things out because we are embarrassed to talk about the different aspects of you know sexuality. Okay. And I just All I right. just feel so, like we need to get into that. J Dot Media is gonna put out a purity guide. Trackstar is gonna put out a purity guide. No. Yeah. Tapes. Tapes. Video tapes. tapes. You gonna do instructional DVD. videos? Yeah, we need to do instructional videos like your boy on Facebook. That's Pastor funny. Justin. Pastor Cox. Yeah, he's funny. Dude has got like a lot of energy. Passion for Christ movement. So anyway. Yeah, I mean I think you know what's so funny is like I don't think parents talk to their kids about sexual stuff no more. Like they I, don't. I I remember how I learned about sex was <laughs> my father put on this um cartoon. <laughs> people having sex and, and they explained it blow by blow and I was like wow okay. put on a, a cartoon wow it was a car it was like a promotional sex ad cartoon about what's going on and how the sperm is going into the you know where babies come from and all like that it was just you like, know we need to we need to ask I'm gonna poll the the audience that actually is gonna watch this on YouTube or whatever how did you how did your parents teach you yeah Cause that's crazy. That is. <laughs> that's crazy. I, I, I never would have got the video thing from you. That's like, that's what you saw on The Simpsons, you know. <laughs> like, so the question is, what? Did, how did you learn, and how did it affect your life? 